teach you how to do digitiles. So what we see here on this blue digitile sheet is that there are some blank boxes and some words and some numbers and also card number four. So the purpose of this is to teach you how to use digitiles. And the first thing you want to look at is what card you have. So here I have card number four. And the rules are that I have to fill in each of these boxes. There's 10 of them. And in each empty box, I have to put a different digit. And there are these 10 digits that I have up here. So I have to use each digit exactly one time. So I'm going to read each question or each statement and try to figure out where to put the digits. So this is a very simple digitile. The purpose of this is to teach you how to do digitiles. Not necessarily to teach you um, about different math facts or trivia questions. So I'm going to just go through the steps here. The first one, this first square says that um, the number of wheels on a tricycle. So I know that tricycle, tri means three. So I'm going to put the number three here and cross the three out because once I use it, I can't use it again. So when I go to the second one, a number greater than 79, that's not very specific. And I don't know exactly what the answer to that is. So I'm going to look around my page and try to find something I know first. Like I know that um, a quartet means four people. So one more than a quartet would be five. So I'm going to take the five away and put it there. So here's another easy one, one less than half of a hundred. So half of a hundred is 50. So one less than 50 is 49. So I'm going to use both the four and the nine. So I'm going to cross those out. So now I can go back to this because a number greater than 79 has to start with either an eight or a nine. But the only thing that I have left to choose from is an 8. So I know I'm going to put the 8 there. And I don't know what the second digit is, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to go to another blank box. So the blank box is um, the value of cents in two dimes. So I can do these blank boxes over here. Two dimes makes 20 cents. So I'm going to put 20 cents here, cross out the 20 and the 0. So when I look at this one still again, I still don't know the answer to that, but I'm going to skip over here. The digit in the tens place of 17, so 1, 7, this is the ones place, and this is the tens place. So the digit in the tens place of 17 is 1. So I cross out the 1. That must mean that I have to use just the 6 and the 7. And I know the number of legs on an ant is 6, which means this final number is 7. And so the number that's greater than 79 is 87. Once you finish the digitile, you're going to record your answers on a separate sheet of paper. So, in your comp book, you can write your name, and then you're going to title your paper. And you're going to say what digitile, and the way you're going to do that is you're going to say the color. So these are blue, and this is number four, blue card four. And then 
the solution to blue card four, you just copy the boxes the way they show up. And the reason you do that is sometimes on digitiles, there'll be a number in one of the boxes. So by actually drawing out how the boxes look, will help you grade your own work and it'll also help me grade your work. And then in each box, you write down your solution. So three, five, eight, seven, two, zero, six, four, nine, and one. That's how you do digital files.